They say we can have, we can, they say we can speak out here on the sidewalk freely. You can speak, but there's no answer. Nobody, nobody told us that. What are you doing? Nobody told me. How come there's no amplification? This Hey, you guys are acting like thugs, man. You're acting like straight up doing? thugs. Hey, you're 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 taking away my. He has every right to be out here engaging in speech. He has every right to be out here engaging in speech. There's cars driving by with their radios playing. That's amplified sound. People like to talk about the war on this and the war on that. The war on white people. The war on black people. The war on Jewish people. The real war is a spiritual battle for the hearts and minds of our children. They are coming for our children. And that is blatantly obvious with what happened to this young man who was protesting a drag event in Wisconsin a few weeks ago. Do all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you be consumed by one another. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What is the problem? What's wrong with you? What are you doing? Just didn't have my hand. You didn't give him any warning. You just grabbed the mic. Oh, this is the same one that we had in here. Yeah, that was in there. It was not out here. What are the rules? What are you doing? They say we can speak out here on the sidewalk freely. You can speak, but there's no amplification. Nobody told us that. What are you doing? Nobody told me that. How come there's no amplification? Hey, you guys are acting like thugs, man. You're acting like straight up thugs. Yeah, you're hey, you're you're you're, you're taking away my hand. He has every right to be out here engaging in speech. He has every right to be out here engaging in speech. There's cars driving by with their radios playing. That's amplified sound. People are standing out here with radios. That's amplified sound. The ordinance has to do with a decibel gauge. You don't just get to pick and choose which amplification you like and which you don't. That's selective enforcement of the law. That's discrimination on the basis of speech. That's what you all just did. Content-based discrimination based on speech. Walk away because you know you just did wrong. Now, what you see there is what happens when a society places a value of a small minority, a small vocal minority, over the free speech rights of individuals. All this young man was doing was quoting scripture. He was quoting scripture, but because he had a speaker and he had quote unquote amplified sound, the cops arrested him. That is tyranny. That is a going above and beyond to violate that young man's free speech. If he was out there saying anything else, they would not have arrested him. It's a similar situation to what happened to that man in Pennsylvania who was also protesting a pride event. But because the media are in bed with the alphabet groomers, they're not gonna say anything about this, but let this be something that happened in the inner. I'm curious if a person of color would have been out there speaking. And I hate to bring this thing back to race, but I'm trying to show the hypocrisy in this and show you the demonic spirits behind this. If a person of color would have been out there doing the exact same thing, I wonder if they would have arrested him. And if they did, I wonder if the media would have called police brutality on that. We might need to try that one day just to show the hypocrisy of the media, to show that they're really not concerned about black lives. And that has always been the case. But getting back to the point, this young man was arrested simply for quoting scripture. And I'm going to show you in a moment what he was protesting. And the sad part about it is I bet some of those people sitting in the audience of this show will call themselves Christian. They must not have read Ephesians chapter five, verse 11 and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. This is a work of darkness. Children. 
children here. Drag is not for children. Lovely Tip Kitten performing with us tonight with a children being brought to a show where grown men with makeup dressed like women prancing around but yet a young man who simply quoting scripture is arrested now you tell me who is in the wrong and who is in the right you tell me who is causing harm to children and they may say oh drag is nothing wrong with drag drag is just art it's just performance really these people don't understand the spiritual ramifications behind what this drag is. This drag is normalizing behavior, making men, women, and women, men. It's emasculating men and making women more and more masculine. That's what shows like this are doing. It is amplifying the message that gender is fluid. It is amplifying the message there's no such thing as truth where the word of God is true. What this is doing is causing those little children to grow up and be victims, causing those children who may be teenage to grow up and be victims because their minds are going to be twisted and conformed and all out of place because they will not have a semblance of truth. They will have this relative truth, this secular humanistic relative truth that it doesn't matter what the Bible says, it doesn't matter what other people say, your truth is your truth. And there's no society that will succeed when everyone has their version of the truth. There's one truth, and that's the word of God. But the fact that this young man was arrested simply for quoting scripture shows you persecution is here for real Christians, the real Christian church.